Okay. I didn't really want to do anything tonight, but uh, I picked up a game called Dreadful Shadows. It's on Steam. It just dropped on Halloween. I saw no reviews for it, but it looked interesting. It's like a... I think they called it like a, a survival horror multiplayer type game. I mean, it looks... It, it's early access. It looked moderately interesting. Survival horror team-based brawler. Hunt and be hunted. Defend or destroy. I tried running it. It wouldn't load. It just kept giving me a fatal error. So, I ran it on my gaming laptop out there. Crashed as soon as it loaded. Came in here to give it a shot, thinking maybe it's my laptop out there. Because I just installed a new antivirus, and it said that uh, it, it found a file to be a bit suspicious, but it said it wasn't harmful, and it, it was fine. It ran fine. It, uh, it gave it a green light. So go ahead. So I figured, screw it, I'll play it in here, I'll give it a shot. Same thing. Now, see, this is the thing that I, I'm pretty sure is the problem. The launcher here. Preparing to launch Deadly Shadows. Which one? I tried all three options on both computers, and it led to the same problem. So we'll go with the first one. Let's give it a shot. So far, so good. And there we go. Unreal Engine 4 Dreadful Shadows game has crashed and will... something. Fatal error. I'm okay. Let's try the second. Now we can't even get past that. Try the third. Now bear in mind, I did uninstall and reinstall. Yep. It just, it gets worse. And something else that I noticed, the file size, when I downloaded initially out there, it was 36 or 39 something. And then I came in here, downloaded, and it was 28. Last time I downloaded, for this one, it was only like 19. 19 gigabytes. So the file size is changing as well. Yeah, you see, we can't even get to the actual animation. I just posted this because I just gave it a shot. I mean, they want $20 for this. It's a introductory price of $13.99. That is a huge difference in price. And, I mean, it's been out for 24 hours. One, two, three posts. No response from the devs. And I literally just made this one. So I'm going to keep an eye on it and see what happens. And, yeah, I'll probably do a follow-up video. Now, this is an early access game, so I'm not going to sit here and say it's a scam or anything like that. I do believe... The developers are relatively new. Yeah, this is the only game they have on Steam. Um, yeah. But yeah, not a good, uh, not a good start. So I just figured I'd, I, I would make a video about it so that way we can get a review up and uh, inform people so they don't spend their money. Uh, until this is fixed because my thing sometimes I will buy a game and say I'm going to stream this and just never do um, here's one panic station I don't even recall when I bought this um, August 25th it is now November and I meant to stream it I just never got around to it I have no idea if this one works but yeah, I'm glad I decided to uh, actually give this a shot to hit the play button and see. So yeah, I would avoid Dreadful Shadows for now. And like I said, if anything changes, if I find out any updates, I will keep you all informed. But as it stands, I'm refunding this game. 
I did put in for a key through keymailer.co, but I did not get one. But I really wanted to give this a shot, so I paid out of pocket for it. So I'm going to get my money back. Because right now, can't play the damn thing, and I don't think the devs are really going to do anything about it. That's an opinion. I don't think, but they might turn around and prove me wrong. So yeah. Don't buy Dreadful Shadows. At least not yet.